And there I am, the everyman, the nobody who did great things, the supposed hero of this story. You never think this is how I'm going to get it. I've been everywhere, got into some real tough spots, and those days I survived them all. Always the last man standing. But not today. Not sure I'll ever know why I'm stuck outside my offices. My insides feel like they're being eaten alive. I can barely breathe. All I can do is remember what brought me here. I get all kinds of cases. Missing persons that turn into kidnappings don't usually cross my desk. I usually get suspected cheating spouses. That usually means tedious surveillance. But this time, just lucky. Despite my hero status, there was no flow of cash raining from the heavens, nor from the parents who were reunited with their dear daughter. Just a reminder of the imbalance of justice in the universe. Gratitude is nice, but it doesn't pay the bills. I suppose I had to chalk my chosen profession to bad life decisions. I've made a lot of those. The ring heard round the world, but I'd be dying elsewhere if I hadn't have answered. I was in the midst of doing something honorable, or at least mature, before I was stricken with pain. 
I would be spared my misery if I hadn't have answered. But I did. Twilight Detective Service. Yeah, this is he. Yes, I have lots of experience with surveillance. What do you need? No. No, listen, those are two separate things. But we have to discuss. I'm more than capable of doing that if it's necessary. No, I can go undercover if it's necessary. But we have to discuss your timetable, my caseload as it is. Really? That sounds reasonable. I'll tell you what. If I have to, I'll go undercover and I'll deliver everything you want upon that date. However, after delivery, anything additional is subject to renegotiation. Are we clear? All right. Okay. Going through their garbage, listening in on their conversations at lunch, and taking pictures of them only got me so far. My final report wouldn't say much. The client wants details about their work relationships and how everyone in the building related to each other and how it relates to the work they do. Very peculiar to most people, not to me, because the price is right. No matter how many times I've done this, it never fails to get tedious. Though it can have its perks. The perks of this gig is named Edith. The pleasant name of a more civilized era. My God, the camera loves her. She's the best part of each day. I really hope she wasn't the devil in disguise, though that couldn't be more true about the environment. I thought getting a job there was hard. And Having to I sit through their banter was hell, though my perk wasn't too far from me. If I didn't bug Joe, Edith, or everyone else's desk, I'd be pretty certain I'd be bored regardless of this cubicle chit-chat crap. Hard to believe Joe's the most tolerable. Circles filled with spam files. And, you know, of course, I had to actually take it. And, uh... Joe? Have you any more speech? Uh, no. But it's, it's no big deal. Whatever was on that paper really bothered him. And much to my delight, it bothered Edith, too. for you today oh it's just at lunch uh today i couldn't help but notice you had something on your mind everything okay everything's fine dante just your average boyfriend girlfriend discontentment it's tedious boyfriend got tunnel vision well even if he remembers about tonight he's not going to show up goal oriented don't all women want that among other things such as a guy who's up at the fancy restaurant with flowers in one hand and a puppy in the other? I guess chilies can be fancy, but showing up, I'd settle for right now. I know I'm easy. I wouldn't spread that around. 
I get it, you see each other all the time, but you'd like to see each other at a non-work environment, not in office clothes, it's not a lot to ask for. Right? You get it. Work keeps taking more and more of his time. It's not healthy. I just don't want him to be consumed by it. Well, with a girl like you, I can't imagine anyone involved with you not having their priorities straight. You should go tonight. Really? Don't you want to be surprised by him? Or surprised by anyone for that matter? I'll think about it. I expect nothing less. Bye, Dante. I couldn't believe it. She might be into it. I decided to cut my workday short. I need to get spruced up and look good for Edith. Purely on the cover work. I swear. I know better not to get my hopes up. But I'm not going to turn down her advance. Then Joe slowed me down. Dante. You know, if you uh you know worked as hard as you play around, maybe you'd actually get something done. <laughs> no, I didn't do that. Pretty much spinning out that gibberish all day. Da Dante, <laughs> come on. Mm -mm. Bye. Whoever Joe was talking to that day really had him flustered. It all started at the copier. Next thing I know, he's in his room talking to himself. I, I don't understand what's going on. How could someone have known this? Something was muffled on the other side of that microphone. I can only make out Joe's voice. A, a book on, on my life. Who was it he was talking to? Of course not. I, I wouldn't do anything like that. My equipment's top notch. I would never put anything in there. Secondary. More leg work for me. Hello. No one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. Hey, Dante. Um, just wanted to let you know I'm going to be home alone again tonight. So, just for your information. Know that. Okay. Bye. Hey Edith, just got your message and yeah, I could totally make it. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hey you, um, just want to clarify, are we meeting here? Dressed to be home? Inside? the house with you so gotta get back to me hey guess who yeah uh, can you just describe me what you're wearing and uh what you won't be wearing oh uh, you know just show me it's fine hey slick um guess who will not be home tonight and guess which particular female person will be home tonight alone um and if you would like to hang out with that person they will be alone so yeah bye I wish it was just a fling. I hope the feeling was temporary. If only it was just a one night stand. Each time we told each other it would be the last time. I didn't want to believe I was in love. Don't know if she feels the same way. And I don't care. I can live with that easier than never seeing a face again.
All right, everyone. Um, we'll be picking this back up next week. Um, I'll need those quotes by Tuesday. And uh, thank you. Joe drones on and on about the approach to the accounts. Edith didn't bother coming to the meeting. She promised me she is going to end it with Joe. Perhaps she's changed her mind. She hates me for putting her in this position. I don't blame her. Hey, Joe, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Um, I'm, I'm feeling a little sick, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to go out with you tonight. Joe, what do you want me to say? It's... <laughs> things are getting better for you. It's just you're different now. You're changing. I... Fine. I... I can't tell you how to feel. But can you at least call me when you feel like speaking? Sure. Thank you. Edith. Yeah. I love you. <laughs> it wasn't eloquent, but it was good enough. Edith took the rest of the day off. She wants to see me tonight. I think I'll follow suit. story. Everything I knew until now, all I can think about is Edith, breaking her heart, hoping she'll never know the pain that is taking my life away from me. I can't deduce what I've done to deserve this. The list is too long. I've spent my life burning bridges and inventing enemies. I... Each time? Are you doing this? I know who I am. soldier anymore.
What's that supposed to mean? Screwing with me. I don't have to justify my actions to you. He knows? <laughs> See it if okay? You have to stop him. Please. I love her. I have to protect her from this. I can be whatever I want. I can make the surroundings wherever I make it. I can even be with Edith. But only for a few moments. Before I know it, I'll be on the ground again. Talking to you. What's the alternative?
clear to me. I will live this day over and over again. What could break my misery? What could spare Edith this pain I was feeling? What could spare Joe his misery? It was clear to me. I knew what I had to do.